Hi there guys, hope you're all well. Um, I'm here at The Express, um, an English newspaper. Um, so this was a story just a couple of days ago. As you can see, shock claim. Large Hadron Collider shuts down after causing massive earthquake. The Large Hadron Collider was shut down after causing a magnitude 7 earthquake which shook the whole planet. It has sensationally been claimed. That is huge, guys. So, with this Mandela effect stuff that's been going on, there's several different theories that seem to be floating around. And CERN seems to come up quite a lot of the time. For, for those of you that don't know what CERN is, it's the largest piece of apparatus uh, on the planet that that I know of, that people know of, um, and what they are trying to do, so it's based in Geneva, Switzerland, and they are effectively trying to find what they call the air quote God particle. So they are, in a nutshell, smashing atoms around together and seeing what happens. I'm sure it's a bit more scientific than that, but in a nutshell, that's what they're doing. So who knows what they're going to create. They, I've even seen videos of the people working at CERN and they're not even sure what they're going to stumble upon. Whether it's going to be a, uh, a, a dimension shift, i.e. Mandela effect. Could that be an effect from it? Could it be opening portals to the afterlife, to, to demons? Who on earth knows? Could they be opening wormholes? Um... I don't feel like there's a lot of information coming out of there, um, considering what they're doing and how much it actually costs to create it. I don't have the figures here to hand, but I've, I've said it in a previous video when I checked how much it was for it, and it was a staggering amount. It was something like $8 billion, something to that effect, like a huge amount of money, and I feel like there's very little coming out of there. Um, Anyway, I'll get on with the rest of this, just so you can see what it's saying. So, conspiracy theorists claim the huge scientific installation triggered a magnitude 7 earthquake in Vanuatu, in the South Pacific, which was so strong it was described as shaking the planet. They claim the, the quake in Norsop and on Malakulu Island started just 15 minutes after the last burst of energy into the LHC, which then shut down. I'm going to genuinely read a friend is the world's largest most powerful machine used to collide particles. Da, da, da. So read this at the same time as me, guys, if um, I'm just skimming through it, just trying to highlight the main bits on here. This bit is a, a very main bit because I actually heard of this before. And my initial impact was that this was coded word within an article. So the official line from CERN, so this is official from CERN, was that a weasel... So bearing in mind, right, how much money is spent on this hydrogen collider that they've built, I would imagine that it would be extremely secure. I know that, that rodents, ants and things like that can get in pretty much anywhere, but you would imagine that there would be some sort of, I don't know, an electric fence or uh, some sort of laser beam or something that will fry in anything that would get near it. Um, a weasel. So when I think of a weasel, I think of a rat, a snake. It, it, it's, it's, it's a term used for someone that is kind of sneaky. They're, they'll do crafty things. You'd call someone a weasel. I mean, that's, that's a, a very odd term to be used in the official statement from CERN. I mean, it could be true, but again, I just always try and approach things. There's too many things that I've seen that are suspicious, not necessarily always to do with CERN, but just in general in life. Um, anyway, I'll carry on reading this, guys. So, that a weasel gnawed through a 66 kilovolt power cable on the L LCH, which forced it to shut down. So I think that's meant to be LHC. Um, I believe it. So a growing number of conspiracy theorists believe it was an emergency situation. Another thing, the term conspiracy theorist, I mean, you hear that coined all over the shop. That is an annoying term. 
And when I was looking into how that actually started, I believe, if I remember, it was the FBI or one of those um, type of companies where they've all got the letters, the acronyms. I'm pretty sure it was the FBI or the CIA or one of them that coined this term. Because if you think about it, it doesn't lend any weight. If you just go by purely wordplay here. So a theory means that there's no hard evidence behind it. So uh, you've got a conspiracy theorist. So it's almost saying that someone isn't be able to back up what they're saying. Um, when a lot of this is actually conspiracy facts. But again... You you say a conspiracy theorist to the average Joe on the street, and they'll again picture that person with a tinfoil hat on that's uh, believing in everything and praying to aliens and all sorts. So again, that's just another thing that grinds me a little bit. But anyway, conspiracy theorists believe it was an emergency situation and had to be locked down amid fears the earthquake could spread and get even stronger. The quake in question happened on April the 28th this year, the day of some major experiments at the LCH. Um, da -da 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 -da. So new evidence further convicts the LHC as being the underlying factor between the severe earthquakes, with the latest earthquake as being a major proving point. In this life, there are no coincidences, and far too often has CERN's LHC been operational while strange events have taken place. Going back to CERN as well, I think another reason why so many people are on CERN's case, i.e. about this Mandela effect, they recently had the most bizarre ceremony I think I've ever seen Um in my life uh, it was bizarre there were goat heads there were these kind of demon ghost people um there was this giant baby's head with wings i mean to be honest it was the most satanic demonic dance ceremony whatever you want to call it i've ever seen uh so that was not necessarily directly to do with cern but it was in switzerland and it was the opening of the gothard tunnel there so again they've got the largest piece of apparatus there and now they've also got the largest tunnel in the world as well so it was a, a weird ceremony to uh, mark that if anyone's interested or hasn't seen it I'll say google it um, check it out on YouTube I'm sure someone's got a video up there if not I could try and find something and put it on the account here um, but that's all from me guys I just saw this and I thought that's relating to everything that we uh, have been discussing on there and somewhat indicts CERN on this situation and there's some funny wordplay in there, just the word weasel stood out to me um, again, I could be jumping the gun, could be jumping conclusions but I, I think there's, typically there's no smoke without fire so uh, yeah, use your own discernment there was a pun intended there, if anyone found that funny. Um, it wasn't that funny, but yeah. <laughs> Use your own discernment. Do your own research. Again, I'm going I'm, is. I'm going to make a point of saying this in my videos now. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. Even if you instinctively believe in me, if you think I'm being honest or whatnot, everything I say, please research for yourselves. Um, again, you might find something different than I've found. But that's all from me, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Um, have a good day or night, wherever you are in the world. Cheers, guys.